In this video, let's see another topic of the chapter of continuity and differentiability. We are starting with differentiability in this video. Now, in this video specifically, we will be seeing only the definition of differentiability and the details will be taken up in the next videos. What is differentiability? Now, differentiability is in context to a function. We will always be considering a function and then we will be telling about its differentiability. So, let's see the definition. Let fx be a real valued function. We have a function given to us and that is a real valued function. Its name is fx. And it is defined on the open interval AB. You see that there are small brackets. Small brackets means A and B are not included. Only the area in between A and B is included. Had I written the closed interval AB, it means that both A and B are also included. If I write something like this, it means that A is not included, B is included. If I write something like this, it means both are not included. Which both are not included? A and B are not included. And if I write something like this, it means A is included, B is not. The area between them, the region between them, the interval between them is always included. Now, again, I come back to the definition. It says that we have fx as a real valued function. We have AB as the open interval. And in that open interval of AB, suppose here it is A, suppose here it is B, there is somewhere a C, say here. C is belonging to this interval of AB, that is what it is saying. Then I say that my function is differentiable, that my function is differentiable or derivable. Both the words mean the same. So my function fx is differentiable or derivable at x is equal to c when, when this condition is satisfied. Only and only if this condition is satisfied. What? That fx minus fc upon x minus c limit x tends to c exists and that should be a finite quantity. That means if I say limit exists means what? Limit exists means the left hand limit should be equal to the right hand limit. And in case of differentiability, we say that the left hand derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative. Then we say that the limit exists. Finitely means it should be a finite quantity. Now how to show, how to represent differentiability? If I have a function fx or fc, then its differentiability is shown by either f dash c or by d, capital D, fc, even it means we are talking about the differentiability. Or last but not the least, even this notation would work that dfx upon dx when x is equal to c. But the most common one is f dash c or f dash x. This is the representation or the denotion. Now when I say that limit exists finitely, it means what? It means that the left hand limit and the right hand limit should be equal. In case of derivative, we say that the left hand derivative is equal to the right hand derivative. That means limit x tends to c negative and the same function fx minus fc upon x minus c is equal to limit x tends to c plus fx minus fc upon x minus c. Right? Now, if I have x tends to c negative, I can always use the denotion and notation of h. I can convert this expression to limit h tends to 0. Right? It becomes fx, fx minus fc. Now, here we have c minus, so we can always make it c minus h. So, it does not become fx, rather it changes to c minus h. So, it is c minus h minus fc upon what in place of x? c minus h. So, c minus h minus c because we are talking about the left hand side. Talking about the right hand side, limit h tends to 0. What would come? Now you can again guess yourself c plus is there. So it becomes c plus h. Let's make it more clear. It should be c plus h. c plus h and next is f of c. No changes in that. Now few students get confused. They write minus should be there. They write plus because it is right hand side. No plus is only in case of c plus h right. x to be substituted by c plus h minus c. Some things cancel. Let's see what c minus c. c minus c gets cancelled. So my final expression becomes limit h tends to 0, limit h tends to 0, f of c minus h minus f of c 
upon minus h because minus is there is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of c plus h minus f of c upon h. So that means if a function is given to me that it is differentiable at x is equal to c, this last condition should be satisfied that the left hand side's limits should be equal to the right hand side limit. It is also called as the left hand side derivative should be equal to the right hand derivative. Now I started with this and I got this. It means you can always go about by h case right and you can remember it like this. The other thing one needs to know is what is differentiability except this formulas because okay if talking about the formulas and the definition differentiability has this meaning that the left hand side derivative should be equal to the right hand side derivative but what actually is differentiability as we understood that continuity means what a graph is continuous if you can draw it without any lifting of pen or pencil this is continuous graph but what is differentiable graph or what is the graph of a differentiable function that we have to study in the next video till this we should always remember this definition of differentiability and understand the formulas.